Military people of Reddit, Area 51 Guards, how do you feel about the September 20th raid? My uncle is attending with his search and rescue squad just to be ready. Some dumb people with no food or water are going to get lost and need help. In all seriousness, I'm wondering if other bases are on alert in case this thing really goes down. I'm more worried if actual bad groups use this event to their advantage. They are just going to let everyone in the base, then never let them leave. The aliens need human sacrifices. If the military slash government had secrets, what fun would it be to hide them at the most publicized secret facility? I don't think people realize how much desert there is to the actual base. There's nothing out there for a reason. I'd imagine any SF people would just let them run as far as they can and then just drive over to them and offer a mount due to get in the back of the truck. Hopefully nobody knows about about the small exhaust port that a well-aimed proton torpedo could get into and destroy the base. Let me guess, it's 2 meters long and the size of a womp rat. Bring lots of water? It gets hot in the frickin' desert and it smiles to get to anything. Also, it gets very cold, because desert. Wouldn't hurt to have some real live news coverage here. How many people are queued up at local hotels? Any info would be worth reading. A good chance to test the newest rubber chili pepper bullets and next gen non-lethal waponery. They could just use the puke laser, or the sound pain machine. Raiders hey, I'ma find the alien anal probes. Dot. Sergeant Allen a few hours later sir please bend over, we need to do a cavity search. Dot. So the real anal probes. Resident here. I hope this guy make it inside. We have been living in here for several decades and I honestly want to stretch my tentacles and finally roam the world. See the sights. Splorch the splorchts. Once upon a time, not very long ago, a young man and woman joined the military. They then went to basic and were accepted as security forces, base police. They were excited. They were told they would be keeping the perimeter secure high hopes for action. Then they receive orders to a base in the middle of nowhere with nothing to do. They find out that being a SP is sitting on the flight line at 2 a.m. watching a jet or standing at a gate in the heat. Their amazing skills go to waste. Then a herd of jackasses come loping towards their fence. This is what they've been dreaming of. It will definitely be interesting. Becky they're running away. Why are we still shooting? Brian shut the fuck up and keep shooting. We ain't ever gonna see action like this again. Area 51 isn't going to stand a chance with the Naruto runners and the power of friendship. Maybe the real aliens was the friends we made along the way. My cousin flies the drones. Be careful out there. Literally logged out after posting this comment. Wasn't expecting this much on it. Ha ha. How did the raid go? boys. The raiders have drones too. Some bought the $150 Amazon ones you can control with a phone. Level playing field. I worked security forces down the way at Nellis for a few years. I would say good luck getting in first of all, it's just shitty desert for miles. Second, when you cross into a restricted area which is clearly denoted by many posted signs or painted on the ground, when not dirt, lethal force is authorized no questions asked. But I would imagine that you would have to get in pretty far before lethal force is actually used. I think people might actually show up but no one will actually do anything and it will be guards at the border of the restricted area talking to neckbeards all night long. You mean the September 20th massacre? I like to think of it as voluntary sub slash post adulthood abortions. Edit, whoa, thanks for what I'm pretty positive is my first ever silver. Retired MSG here. I honestly doubt more than a handful of people could actually make it to the installation since it smiles from the nearest town with no real roads leading in. That said, I was assigned to the Army's Delta Force in the 2000s, and our guard force was not only authorized to use deadly force if there was a breach of the perimeter, but it was standard operating procedure they should since the compound is regarded as a high value asset. But, let's say for argument's sake thousands of civilians were making their way to the installation. The most likely scenario would be a temporary extension of the installation's enforceable borders augmented by local, state, and federal agencies working in conjunction to arrest them. Let's say thousands slip by these first echelons of Leos, 
though. It'd most likely have escalate in use of force the closer they get to the installation. Let's say thousands still make it through laser, sonic, rubber bullets, and tear gas deterrents and they get to the installation's physical barrier. They'd get shot and triaged on sight. Eater, and those that live would be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. This is the most realistic answer here. There's no way local law enforcement, or even the alphabet boys will let anyone close enough for guard force of the installation to have a problem. I used to work at Area 76, my only advice is, try not to get shot by the guards or mauled by military working dogs. TL, Dr. Naruto run and you'll be fine. Army here. I am so glad I am not one of the people in charge of security on that base, is all I'm gonna say. Former military and rolling my eyes. Imagining hundreds of people risking getting being shot and killed to find nothing but a bunch of airmen and senior airmen sitting around a smoke pit chain smoking Marlboro Golds bitching about lunch chow and a file cabinet full of old maintenance cards for the B-1. If you all want secrets, storm the mountain in Colorado, and good luck. Living on any other military base is the most boring life possible with the exception of Camp Lejeune. At least the marines would get drunk and throw insane barracks parties when hurricanes would roll through. No idea why civilians glamorize military life like we're living on the other side and are privy to the secrets of the world. You expect a bunch of 19 year old E3s who can't be trusted not to get an alcohol incident DUI for one goddamn week to keep their lips closed about the existence of aliens? Give a lance corporal a half-empty can of skull and an expired repeat and he'll tell you his mom's social security number. If you wanted Area 51 secrets, just go to the nearest strip club on a Thursday or Saturday night. There's a reason the NSA slash CIA slash DIA all maintain police slash security departments that aren't active duty military. And GT, you expect a bunch of 19 year old E3s who can't be trusted not to get an alcohol incident DUI for one god damn week to keep their lips closed about the existence of aliens. That made me laugh way harder than it should have. I'm excited to find out what kinds of new non-lethal technology the military has been working on that they will get to test out on these dumb asses. Literally nothing is going to happen. They will likely have checkpoints on the highway coming in. Even then, it's a barricaded dirt road and 15 miles to the base. Most people can't walk 15 miles in the Nevada sun. If necessary, once the first few are arrested and charged with federal crimes, people are going to stop trying real quick. Retired military here. From a public opinion standpoint, the base MPs and BASF have got the short straw. If they don't stop incursions into the restricted space, they'll be a laughing stock. If they do, they'll be heartless faceless assaulters of the general public. If real military force is required to be brought to bear against civilians, they'll be lambasted. From a practical side, civilians who think they can breach Area 51 are delusional. The military is not restricted to the same low-level riot equipment or rules of engagement that a municipal police force is. And assaulting a military installation would probably get you a trip to an black site military prison, assuming you didn't just wind up shot. Military forces protecting a restricted space are going to use lethal force, if necessary. Just so you know, any military installation is authorized to use deadly force, our base allows it, so in positive area 51 is authorized. You all better be practicing to a Naruto run. There are signs put out that basically say if you pass here you will be shot. Will could be could, maybe. Ex-military with no relation to Area 51. I hope they clap some spicy alien cheeks. Finna get me an alien milf. Obligatory not a guard, nor in the military, or involved with Area 51, but I did just visit the Tillamook Cheese Factory in Tillamook, Oregon. Can recommend if Area 51 doesn't pan out. Thank you for your service. Not military but we should raid everyone's house while they're raiding Area 51. Ah yes I always wanted 300 anime sex stalls. I use to guard the nukes that go on subs. You are just creating extra shifts and patrols for soldiers that would normally not be in guard rotation. Plot twist government declares purge to distract us. You're all about to know what tear gas feels like, have fun kids. Massive special Darwin award this year. Active duty USAF recently left Nellis AFB, lol good luck nerds. And GT, 
Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Nellis Air Force Base is a location northeast of New Vegas in the Mojave Wasteland. It is a pre-war Air Force Base that was once the United States Air Force Warfare Center and, after the war, became the home of the Boomers, a xenophobic group who were former occupants of Vault 34. Not in myself but from a military family. One of my family members has some high clearance, I'm pretty sure he isn't stationed at Area 51 but I asked him anyway. He said don't go unless I want to ruin my life, disappear or wind up dead. So yeah, sitting this one out because the two brain cells I have left worked a double shift and said I should probably not go. You have two brain cells? Lucky. Never worked at Area 51 but I really wanna see what happens. I bet 99% of the people that signed the petition won't show. My friend who just got back from his deployment in Afghanistan was pessimistic about the raid's chances. I think his exact words were they are gonna fucking kill everybody who shows up. I can't believe there isn't a single reasonable response in the top 10 posts. Area 51 is so remote they literally fly in employees daily. It's called Janet Airline. You literally cannot drive a car to Area 51. You sure as hell are not running there in September. And the one aspiring supermarathon runner who makes it won't be a match for the chain link fence and board MPs. Edit, okay maybe it's possible to drive. A lot of people are saying so but it can to Google. It's still remote enough they fly in most employees daily. Nobody is getting close. Most Americans can't afford groceries let alone a plane ticket and a rental car for the New Mexico desert. Area 51 is so remote they literally fly in employees daily. Dot. Exactly. The area is 35,000 plus acres nest held in the 5,000 square miles of Nellis Air Force range, and all that is stuck in the nowhere of the southern Nevada desert. Army here. It's an ongoing meme that we all want to get duty there to work on our aim. I don't know who planned for a Friday. Everyone knows patches are Tuesday so Wednesday is raid day. Don't care. German military here. You guys go wild dodging bullets with Naruto running, I suppose. There's gonna be one guy after the failed attempt. He'll be bloody and bruised but enthusiastically talking to a reporter I don't quite know what went wrong. I mean I followed Saitama's regimen of 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, 10km running every day for a week. I was sure I could at least knock down a guard tower. The interview ends when his friend tosses him his wife who emotional support pillow. It's either going to be very anticlimactic and nobody will show up, or it will be epic and everyone will show up. Everyone, seems like everyone else is going, he'll just stay home and watch. Three people show up. Honestly, the government had plenty of heads up on this, it would be a great opportunity to set up some refreshments, food, some entertainment, and just do a meet and greet with some official representatives in good humor outside the main gates or whatever. Say seriously, this area is, in fact restricted, but have some punch and pie, take some selfies, and enjoy the ball pit, then be on your way. That would be great. Give them lemonade snacks, and a lifetime membership to the no-fly and terrorist watch lists. I think anyone stationed at any high-security government site would be hesitant to identify themselves as such and anyone who identified themselves would be hard-pressed to prove it, and keep their job slash freedom. Edited, for spelling. Finally going to get that super rare achievement of beating up a nerd while doing a backflip. <laughs>